In this video, we will learn how to use Mocha and Chai to actually structure and write our tests in Cypress. We're, we're gonna learn how to use describe, context, it, and specify. Hi guys, or hi geeks actually. This is Young Media, welcome back. Please subscribe if you wanna keep learning about technology and let's go ahead with the content of this video, all right? So let's go to the Visual Studio Code today. And as I told you before, we're gonna learn uh, what is describe, what is context, what is it, what is specify, and we're gonna uh, actually create a unit testing demo to understand how the structure works. So let me just check if I'm recording, I am. So let's go ahead and create our uh, dummy application all right <laughs> as i'm telling you basically cypress is built on top of mocha and chai and uh, cypress support chai's uh, bdd and tdd assertion styles and the interface is borrowed from mocha so we're going to use describe context in a specify to actually write write our uh, test cases so we're gonna actually write down four uh, functions the first one is going to be at all right and it is going to receive two parameters and obviously it is going to return uh, an, an addition from those two parameters then we're gonna uh, write down another function where it is gonna be sub subtract okay and it is gonna actually uh, receive two parameters too and it is gonna return the subtraction of two numbers and then we're gonna create another function called divide it is gonna receive two parameters then it is gonna return actually a division of a and b and then we have another function here, which is gonna be multiply, all right? This is gonna be a dot uh, comma b, and then we are gonna return a plus, or actually multiply b. That's good. Now we have our dummy application <laughs> ready to be tested, all right? So let's go ahead and start with the Cypress test, okay? This code and this explanation is going to be uh, actually, well, uh, pushed in my repository. If you want to download it and, and make your own tests, you're, you're free to do it. So uh, what we're, we're going to do right now is explain a little bit what is a describe and what it is a context. Okay. Basically, um, this is a way to group our test cases. Okay. Our tests actually and uh, well we can nest a uh, multiply for example multi multiple uh, describes for context multiple instances and um, well uh, it is actually gonna receive two parameters so let's go ahead and uh, let me explain you what what it is so we're gonna call a uh, describe here and it is gonna re receive two parameters as I'm, as I'm telling you so uh, the first one is going to be the number the, the, the name actually it is going to be named unit testing for example of our uh, dummy application okay <laughs> then we're going to have to pass another parameter which is going to be a um, callback function in this case it doesn't receive any parameter but we need to call in call it and we'll actually write down different code inside of it then uh, I, I just want to let you know that context is just an alias of describe. You can use it and it is going to be similar or actually it is going to behave uh, exactly as describe works. So, for example, and as I was telling you, I can write down multiple instances of describes or context inside of a single describe, for example. So if I write down context here, uh, it is going to have the same uh, structure it is going to have a name in this case i want to call this math for example with positive numbers okay positive numbers it's going to be a way to group tests all right and let me just give you more context about it just writing down this it's going to have a callback function and as i'm telling you it is equal or actually means the same if i use context or describe so i'm going to use a describe here which is going to be name math with uh, decimal numbers for example to have different different uh, kind of tests inside of a single describe but with different meanings and actually group group them to have a better sense of what is happening in our tests so i'm going to call here another callback function 
uh -huh. sorry let me see and there it is i just have to come here and now we have a single describe parent describe with all the uh test cases that we're gonna have in this uh, in this case and then we have to uh, nested describe or context actually to have a better understanding or, or better grouping of the test cases all right so let's go ahead and continue explaining uh, a little bit about what is a knit all right what is a knit or specify basically it and specify means the same again all right mean mean the same again and basically specify is it is just an alias of it so um you can use it or specify it, it doesn't and it's gonna it, it it will not give you any kind of problem so let's go ahead and write down our first it what is it basically it is used for an individual test case all right it receives two parameters one is the name as a string explaining what the test will do and then the second one is going to be the call the callback function again so i'm going to write down the it in i'm going to write it should um at to a positive numbers all right that's good it is gonna also receive another callback function and then we can have multiple it's here inside of a context for example and i want to need four it's because i want to add i want to subtract i want to multiply or divide actually first Mm -hmm. and then I want to multiply that's good now I have my it's inside of a context but I also want to add and subtract decimal numbers all right so I'm gonna call and actually copy and paste those it's inside of this I'm gonna uh, change the positive to decimal numbers okay and now I have the structure that I want so i have a parent describe two different describes inside of a describe to have a better grouping of the test cases positive and decimal and now i'm just i just have to well actually add the assertions uh, well as i told you before uh, cypress use chai to write or actually uh, specify the assertions we can use td and bdd assertion styles uh, so let's go ahead and use uh, one one of them just to give you a quick overview and example of how it works in future videos as i'm telling you we will learn more about it so please keep tuned because we're gonna learn a lot um well it is just how it just have to uh, have an aspect uh, as and at the beginning and then for example in this case i, I want to use this uh, other function to equal and we're gonna specify this the value that I want, all right? So, for example, if if we want, or we're expecting a two, and it is equal to a, another two, it is gonna be a positive assertion, right? It is gonna pass. However, if it is equal to four, it is gonna fail, of course. So, let's go ahead and, and make a real example here with our dummy application. We're gonna expect the addition of two and two for example be a four right because two at uh, <laughs> two and two will be returned four for sure i hope so <laughs> so th then i have to use another assertion here for example we're gonna subtract four and two and it is sh and actually it should return equal two right there it is then we're gonna just copy this and we're gonna change subtract for divide and for the um and two will return two that's good and then i want to multiply the numbers over here multiply uh -huh. four and two it is gonna return eight cierto cierto i'm sorry it is just my spanish coming out <laughs> all right that's good now uh, i just need to uh, add two other assertions here which are gonna be an addition and a subtraction that's good N and what i need actually is to um well change a bit this to have decimal numbers in instead of uh, well 
integer numbers. So what I'm gonna do here is add that the two dot two and two dot two again. It's gonna return four dot four. If I'm wrong, I hope that I'm fine. <laughs> And if I subtract, for example, uh, let me think about an example real quick, 4.4 and uh, 2.2, it is going to return to the 2, right? Yeah, that's good. Now, uh, well, that's basically how this, uh, how the, the structure of a test will seem like. So that's basically it, man. So let's go ahead and run this. If I come here in the terminal, and I open up uh, my test runner. Let me just do it. I'm gonna cancel this plot process. I'm gonna clean the, uh, I'm sorry, it is not Linux. <laughs> I'm gonna CLS the terminal. And um, well, we're gonna go to the package.json of our project. We have seen this before. And we're gonna run this script, Cypress open. So I'm gonna npm run, Cypress open. And there it is. You will see how the test runner is gonna be executed. So there it is. And as you can see here, and as we saw before, our test must be included in the integration folder, right? The fixture folder has another meaning, the plugins has another meaning, and support has another meaning. If you wanna keep learning about Cypress, please go ahead at the, uh, well, the, the, actually this video that we, the, we uploaded, uh, before about the Cypress project folder structure, and you will learn, learn about the, that, uh, structure so inside of the integration tests uh, we have the test uh, underscore structure.js file and if we execute it you will see that well we're gonna have our uh, test executed uh, with some errors but we are gonna <laughs> overview then uh, in a few seconds let me just explain you and let me give you a perspective of how it works and how it looks so we have a um, main suite here, which is unit testing of our dummy application. And then we have two another uh, subset of suites, which is uh, the first one for positive numbers and the second one for decimal numbers. So if I click in this, we're going to have the results for each it. And here we're going to have the results for the second uh, actually described. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look of what is happening. And it says that it cannot read the property equal of undefined, and it, it is just my uh, <laughs> a syntax error that I that I done. So let me just uh, make some changes here because I did it wrong. There it is, and same stuff for every single it or actually assertion that I did without <laughs> pay attention. I'm sorry. Now it is, there it is. This is fine and this is not fine. <laughs> okay. That's it, man. And as you can see here in my test runner, all my test suites uh, have been executed and all passed. What happens if I have an assertion error? For example, let's say that this subtraction of 4.4 and 2.2 .2 is not returning. Uh, to .2, it is going to return an, uh, a mistake. As you can see here, the subtraction will, will actually have an assertion error. And it is saying that .2, .2 is not equal than if we compare that with forward. So yeah, that's basically it. That's the basic structure of a test case in Cypress. So I really appreciate if you subscribe, if you let a like, and please let me know in the comment section below if you want to keep learning about Cypress. In the next video, we will see how the test hooks works with Mocha, and I'm I'm pretty sure that you will love that that video. So thank you very much for watching the video. Thank you very much for watching it until the end. This was Young Media Geeks. Thank you very much again, and see you soon. Bye bye.